All right, welcome or welcome back, everyone. This is where we got so far. Got the uh, tank and everything built on our, you know, the body of it. It's going to be a little bit smaller than I thought it was based on how big this is, but I think it's going to end up looking pretty cool. Got you know, everything feels pretty solid. Got the axle up here, and of course it's going to be our. And I, you know, I was surprised it was an electric motor, and so also sort of glad because I had bad luck with rubber bands lately. <laughs> uh, but, you know, getting some decoration, getting the, the framework laid. So, ready to start up on page 7. So, I'll be right back with that. Okay, here we go. Everything for page 7. We need this, 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 this to start with. You, like that. Got our... Over here, got an arrow on there. It's supposed to be going away from this one. So this goes in here. And goes through there. Assuming. Yep, that's what we're going to end up with. <laughs> then this goes in here. Okay. Got that situation, and we bring in our body, and you go down into this notch. There you go. Yeah. Good, nice flush contact there. So that's I feel good about that. <laughs> okay. Oh, leave this out here because we need it again. So E two. I want it. That with that, that, that horizontal slot on the left, and where's our? I'm trying to see where our wire is supposed to. Oh, wait a second. Insert the wire into this gap. It says so. It's supposed to go up here. Yeah. Don't break it doing it. <laughs> so you wrap you around there to hold you in. Okay, now that go in that direction and this piece on there that we just built is where that goes in. Okay. And just pushed it all back. <laughs> so, make sure to embrace the back as you're pushing this on. <laughs> we guys lined up. Got one of you here is being uncooperative. There it went. Everybody back in place. All right. Now, this guy back here. This side. Evidently, just maybe I'm upset. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I missed something here. Spin around. It says it just goes on here, but it that's not gonna hold on. Over here, there is a notch for that. That's on. Okay, so evidently I've got this piece on backwards. Yes, I do. Okay, so how much trouble is that to get out? <laughs> okay, this step just got a lot longer. 
but that's why I do it. Okay. Yep, got to pay attention. Okay. You. At least it's the front one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, do do. You locked in place. Okay. So it was these guys. Okay. So all that comes out. Okay. That's not going to be too bad, I think. Oh yeah, this one was the one that was that kept falling apart on me. Yeah, I remember now. <laughs> oh man, it goes. Okay, the other way. Get back in. Okay, so. I could look at the instructions, but that would be no fun. Let's see, pop you off, I think. Bottom, we got that little. Hmm. Yeah, that's what locked. Okay, that. And you go like so. Get you guys back in place, maybe. I know this is not how I did it because I'm. <laughs> I could just flip backwards on my instructions, but that wouldn't be a challenge. <laughs> so you go all the way up. Lock you in. Lock you in. Now I've got this upside down. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Okay. Okay, I know that doesn't go on yet. Let's go on here for... It's not like I don't have an instruction book like sitting right there. Let's see if this will hold these guys in place long enough for me to reassemble it. Mm -hmm. through back on right side up okay slide you guys back into place I think I didn't go far enough on this one I think I did that last time because it did snap in place there, and I don't remember it doing that before, so that's good. Now, this guy, put it right side up, the axle going down. <laughs> okay, now you into place. back on top. <laughs> our front back on. We'll put our wire up here. 
Now our front piece back on. Okay. Same one giving me issues this time. Okay. Now, this piece goes right in there. <laughs> I think that wasn't so hard. <laughs> I just hope that's the only one I put it on upside down. <laughs> I think so. Okay. So set that aside. Well, I do some more building here. Got this guy, this guy, that guy. Yeah. Okay. We'll need. I think. Yeah, gonna need all this is gonna all the pieces I've got left over. Okay, so you like so you go there. Okay, that's gonna be a door lock mechanism, I think. This guy on the front of it. Hold it in place. That's good. Take these guys through each side. Each one of these. Come on. Okay. on here looks like no they're not wide enough did I put oh what's that oh on here that makes more sense get in there without breaking anything yep <laughs> okay so then okay and that locks that okay door locked door open okay cool now all that goes on to the front here. Ah, slides on to here, there. Got the rails here on the bottom, and that one on the side here that just put in. All right, all right. So. Okay, dig it. And that finally concludes page seven. <laughs> Took about five minutes longer than I thought it would, so take them as we get them. So I'll reset, be right back with page eight, and we'll keep going. Okay, get to jump right into putting our platform together, it looks like. Uh, that's because that's the platform over here. <laughs> but we start off this guy. Okay, hold it like this. Got the arrow pointing back that way. And slide you guys on there. And we do have a nice little gap under there. And then up here on the front. Uh, just pull the whole thing apart. Don't need to do that. <laughs> I'm about to remedy that situation. Unlock it and open up our. Oh, no. <laughs> Bring the whole thing with me. <laughs> ah, darn. <laughs> okay. Wiggled it around too much, but like I said, I'm about to. I believe remedy this situation. I'll put this on like it was properly meant to be done last time. <laughs> Maybe. Except not actually on the steam engine. Okay. Mm. 
Open and we get two. I don't know if they're showing up under the light, but get to put a couple of screws down in through these holes here in the gear. So I'm going to use their teeny tiny screwdriver. It's not a bad one, it's got that little rotating end, so it makes it a little easier to spin in tight spaces. allowed to drop in that first little bit so that, that helps as a magnet don't grab it on the way out okay okay so that should stop it from falling apart on me again should be a much easier access to that now okay <laughs> well, we got our that and that done now get to work on our platform proper by the way it's not set that up where I don't break something <laughs> so take this guy and these three hmm. Right off the bat, shall go in. Let's see here. Yep. This side. Into these. Now. Two guys go in first. Here. And here. We need a little more. A little, a little brighter light dealing with this darkness. <laughs> Got a little bit more over here, too. <laughs> in here. Oh, it actually says to lubricate this this wide part here, so let's get the old Impresso with lubricant out, which I'm pretty sure is just Vaseline. And... Not good. Not good, that's, yeah, this is definitely going to be the axis. Pretty sure it's only go from that end to that end. Okay. Now, bring this piece in. 
goes in this slot here. Filled it pretty well. Okay, so yeah, okay, that guy goes into this one. Is that that's, that's got a one on it? Does this have a one on it? Yeah, and this has got a one embossed in there, and embossed in there, so you know you're getting the right one in the right place. Okay, you go there. We got these three pieces left. Where do y'all go? <laughs> okay, so you go back side of this one. Here. And this guy goes to the front into this one. All right. And that concludes page eight. So pull the pieces of page nine and be right back with that. Okay, first part is putting the platform onto our body. So, holding it like so. Try not to break anything. <laughs> Got these tabs on this side line up over here. And we want to make sure these guys are going up and away from the platform so they don't get pinched in there. I'm gonna try and tuck you in there, maybe. Yeah, okay. I think that'll get them out of the way. Okay, so this. <laughs> All right. So these go. Oh, okay, so it goes in and up. Nope. Get that slot in between. In between our platform there. The door came open. <laughs> okay, now they should ease over onto all our tabs here. Nice and simple. Okay. Yep, shears. I think I might have put something on backwards here. Hang on. Pop off again. I think. Oop. No, that is, that is how that has to go. <laughs> I thought. It looks like this one's rubbing up against this one. A little bit. Rough. Where are we on? Now there it went. That'll know the little click, I think. <laughs> okay, so let's try that again. In there. Yeah, darn. <laughs> okay, so back in place again. Take three. Sort of seems odd that it looks like it's rubbing there, but I guess it. Well, I mean, I guess it's supposed to rub there, but it's not. Seems like it ought to be more flush than that, but I don't guess there's any other way, any way to do that. Okay, everybody's in place. 
gingerly set you aside so I don't knock you apart again. <laughs> and then move on to the next step. Is there any screws or anything going there? No, nope, it's just pressure fitted. Okay, so now bring it in for this part because it's smaller. You and you. These four. And this one. And this one. So, and this, that notch on the left side, like this. Okay, these go in. goes in place now. Everything went fuzzy on me. <laughs> there we go. I don't think I took away anything it was focusing on so that messed with its brain. So, you. Okay, actually, these guys go through here first. And one of these. And the one with the notches on it there. And this goes on top of that collar. Okay, so before I do that, I do need to throw some wood lubricant on here. And they're going to be, I say I put it, let's put it on the inside of this part because it's easier to do. Okay, while I'm doing that, I guess I'll go ahead and run these through so it st stabilizes. <laughs> or they just all fall out. <laughs> to the plain side and this is the part that it screws into. So. Okay, got that gear assembly. Assembled. Got our spinny bit on the inside there. Take a drive shaft. I'm assuming a drive shaft, and that goes in there. And we got ready to party. <laughs> and that takes care of page nine. So set this aside and get ready for page ten. Okay, here we go. Start off just this one assembling our gear. So, run this down there. And 
Mm. Which side am I going? Okay, this this side with this up. In there. And these the ears go into those slots right back there. Okay, so that's just gonna be oh, I need to get that back in. That's there, that's there. Okay. I hope I'm gonna lock that into place pretty quick. <laughs> ah, looks like that's what we're doing now. These two. Okay, so whoop, it's coming off. I say there's the slots I was talking about that the, the tabs go into, and these guys just go in. hoping this locks in somewhere. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we got that working. Cool, cool, cool. Now Okay, this we're about to build a, a tool. Okay, I was trying to figure out. I thought this was part of the machine. No, this this is our depth gauge. Okay, so go with two. Make sure the writing's on the outside on this one for sure. Put our tabs in there. This is the top. So four goes there. And these we want to line. Okay, so they should shouldn't be able to do this but one way, right? Because I'll do it that. Way. That's the only way they're going to line up. Do it that way. They also line up. Okay. So does that matter? <laughs> Let's see here. According to the okay, this is on the top. I don't want the deeper one go in this corner so this is yeah this is how it goes and make sure those okay I think now that I've done it if I didn't if I'd had it flipped the wrong way it wouldn't have been flush on the edge because that this side was not gonna flush yeah, because that's different yeah, on each side. So yeah, the fact that this is even on all the sides tells me I did it right. Okay. Now I'll take our little guys and this goes in. Okay, from on this side. Start it up and we put it on four. Right down, and then on this side, um, we pick where are you five, and then you down. All right, so, so I'm assuming that's going to be like that. Also, assuming I'm going to have to put some. I'm gonna go ahead and, while I'm thinking about it, hit this thing with some lube. And spread it around there. Just let it, 
disperse itself, I hope. Yeah, I can see it going pretty much going all the way around there. Okay. Now, bring our assembly back in place. I'm thinking that this one is going to line up with that one. And I was thinking wrong, because <laughs> it goes this way. Okay, so move these guys over this way this time. And this goes in. <laughs> okay, so that one goes in the long slot, and this one goes in the vertical slot there. So. Supposedly, and it came apart again. <laughs> Which way it go? Okay. 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 So it does slide under there. Okay, goes on to that one and that one. So Gonna be the death of me. <laughs> You're up there. You're not cooperating on this one. gap there that I'm not crazy about. It doesn't seem to want to go down onto it. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm gonna let it ride. Let's see if I can find those. Go okay. The wires actually go once they're on there, you go underneath, yeah, go back. Okay, okay, so okay, and then take that guy, and he actually holds that assembly in place. what holds the gears in. Alright. Well that was... Okay, so it's going to be... Mm 
Yeah, it's eventually going to tie down to this lever here, I'm sure. And okay, and that's going to go into that hole there. So this is going to end up being our transmission. I'm not to barely got a grip, grip on that. That's probably be enough for the. And see, and that thing still. See, that's just really loosey goosey there. I'm not crazy about that. Yeah, that's that's and that's supposed that's going to be structural too. That's <laughs> okay. Get back. See, it's hard to get. I can't even get to stay on there now. <laughs> I don't see any reason for it to not be going down. That's the irritating thing. Facing. It's not binding on anything. It just doesn't want to. All right there. Oh, I, I, I think I see it. Yeah. Uh, can you see it? I peeled some of that veneer off. It didn't. It peeled the veneer rather than the, than going flush. So let's. Yeah, this gonna be. That's. Yeah. That's why it wouldn't go down. So. That's going to call for some, oops, sorry guys. <laughs> That's definitely going to call for some gluing. And, yep, see there, now we're, we're tight there, so that's good. Okay, so, I just happen to have the old Gorilla Super Glue sitting right there, so let's undo it one more time. And through a not as clean as I can, and just dab in there and bring them back together. And go back together. There you go. <laughs> off there shouldn't be obstructing nothing all right that's better <laughs> I feel better about that now that gap was bothering me okay so I think yep and that concludes page 10 so I think we got time to do one more page tonight so I'm gonna come back and we'll do page 11 and probably call that a night so right back with that Okay, here we go, and as expected, we are going to drop a pin through there. So, get these guys. Maybe. Whoop. Okay. That lined up and up through. Whoop. That's inside of super glued them, but knock it off. <laughs> Alright, then you. Okay, I'm going to recommend going from the bottom to the top because that's really tight getting that pushing or that in there. But, okay, there we go. Now that does, like I said, that's going to be our gear selector or something, obviously. that has that much give in it but <laughs> okay 
I'm sure they'll alleviate that as we go. Okay, now we take our by our plate LKA01 of our mm -hmm. so that's what's embossed on there don't know what that means that's okay don't need to <laughs> you know, closer for this part y'all notice that every single time I try and zoom I zoom out okay so you guys go on to these three tabs here. Supposedly. Oh, there's a slot there. Okay, so that's gonna... Oops. Okay. And then this guy goes into that slot there. Looks like that way. Now we got our decorative grating here. Here we go. <laughs> With our little notch. You can still see it not on that end. Goes into the bottom one. He got the bottom. Then, okay, looks like we're done with this part for the night. Gonna build us another gear assembly so we get our depth gauge out and all, all of those, those four pieces, five pieces, <laughs> well, six pieces. <laughs> okay, so over to number seven. Drop our hammer. C16. all the way down. Have this one on top. I think that's the wrong pit tool. <laughs> there it goes. Anyway. Okay. Like this guy. Like this with our little decorative line right there. Go through that lower hole there and push another one in on this side. Do that. And it spins reasonably freely, maybe. There we go, just a fraction of a gap there. All right. That. Okay, and there's more stuff to assemble before we put this onto our main body, so that's where I will stop it tonight. I am stopping in the middle of a step. But that's okay, I'm going by pages. That's all for page 11. Okay, we got some movement anyway. Got a little bit of our decorative stuff going on. The axle working. Yes, what will eventually be a gear selector or something, I'm sure. That's it. coming together. Not you can tell what it what where it's what it's heading towards, but if you didn't know better, you'd say it's just a train. <laughs> but anyway, that's where I'll call it a night. Thanks for watching, everybody. Like, subscribe, comment, complain, share. Do whatever you want to with all that. Be good to one another. Stay safe. And I'll see you next time. Neo says bye as well.